What's up, guys? Welcome back. How are you? Good. <laughs> oh, were you not asking me? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of La Pura, Pura Neta. Neta. My name is Mario. Jersey Dre. I am Ozzy. Sorry, we're in a different order now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 I got confused. Yeah, we, 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 we still, this is like, this is our, our third and fourth try with this thing, and we still can't get it we'll through. Get it. We'll get oh, it done. but we are another day in this beautiful brand new studio that we got here. Welcome to yeah. LPN Studios, you yeah. know, hey, welcome back. You know, right next to, right next to Kevin Hart and right across the hallway, Katy Perry. Yeah. <laughs> she was uh, singing to her microphone as we walked in. We were just like, get it, girl. Get it, girl. She was asking if she wanted to, like, she was like, hey, man, you guys got room. Sorry, man, we've already got a Sorry, guest man, today. We got yeah. fourth mic, you know, we only got so many mics, we're on a budget. <laughs> My income tax hasn't hit like that, like that, you know, so. Uh, but speaking of a fourth mic, let us introduce him. What would be your name, Kansa? Sir. Hello, I'm Mo. Mo Shoahin. Mo Shoahin. <laughs> <laughs> Mo is uh, one of my good friends. Uh, we met through our mutual friend, the Juice Man, and uh, Mo's been my buddy ever since. <laughs> the he Juice is Man, Juicy J, yeah, Hugo Sanchez, man. <laughs> oh, my bad. Homes with Hugo, I it was you know, six. whatever. <laughs> that too. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, Mo's been my ride or die, bro. He's like my most uh, wonderfulest uh, Sox fan that I know. We have our uh, rivalry. Crosstown Classics are always fun. <laughs> Um, his team's not doing so hot. My team's not doing so hot. So we <laughs> we come together in our friendship as we talk shit uh, uh, via baseball. Uh, Mario's not a baseball fan, but it's okay. Talk shit about our mutual friend as well, <laughs> all the time. But uh, Mo, tell people tell the people about yourself, man. Um, wow, I just wasn't ready for that question. Sorry, man. <laughs> Already throwing yeah, curveballs at you. Sorry, no I mean, pun intended. I, I mean, the, I mean, the one hour prep wasn't, uh, wasn't enough. Yeah. But we got it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, my name is Mo. I know how to tie my own tie. Um, I started jump roping <laughs> oh my recently. God. It's a really fun that's, hobby. That's legit. Yeah. How how, how profi- like how proficient are you trying to be with it? Because I am trying to become like a boxer good with jump rope. <laughs> with jump roping? No, not that good. No. He wants to dance, <laughs> no, not that good. No, he wants to dance cumbia while he jump ropes. Yeah, so that's, very that's, specific, the kind of, that's the kind really? of jump rope w- yeah. that I want to be doing. I think, yeah, that's, I, I, think that, I think that's passing boxer level. Dancing cumbia and jump rope. <laughs> well, I mean, I, well, I mean, you need, you need to learn how to fucking jump rope with a, like with any song that's playing in your fucking sure. thing. So I'm just like, if I can learn how to do it, just like most boxers do it with the tempo, then I could just do the cumbia the with cumbia. it. Right? <laughs> then you put the shoulders into it. So, um, um, but anyways, you took uh, a jump rope. Yeah, yeah. My, well, my friend Jermaine, who you've met actually, yeah, yeah, uh, forced me to learn, and basically he just yelled at me for two hours until I figured it out. <laughs> there you go. Um, you, never, so, you never knew how to jump rope before? up until like two months ago. Now, so yeah. most good under pressure. <laughs> which is really good which uh brings uh which is the reason why we bring you to our table because mo is a pilot yeah right. talk mo, about pressure i want to definitely <laughs> share a little story with you guys because um this was i met mo through you know we both worked at at and and um you know obviously you meet everyone there but this man one day was just like on a video on a game on his phone it was a flight simulator game and he was on it probably like six months until he's just like Dre I'm gonna I'm gonna become a pilot I'm gonna go and then and we're just like fuck it do it bro where's this 20, 2015 go do you bro like so <laughs> he did it and then literally like he was gone for a minute he went to training he was in different states he's been out the country and now we're here in uh, LPN Studios across the, across the <laughs> hall from like, uh, Katy Perry now he's back and now he's working at fucking Costco <laughs> <laughs> no Raising Canes Raising Canes Raising get it straight part time fucking love um, Raising Canes I know you do am I allowed so. to swear yeah, 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 we're on the YouTube. This is not a Christian show. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's a Catholic show. Oh, but it's, it's, a Catholic show. <laughs> it's a Catholic show. We don't really Different. cater to those people. But Mo, tell us what you, uh, what you brought, brought us today, bro. Um, so uh, I brought uh, my dad's favorite beer, which is non-alcoholic. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Barbican, strawberry flavored, zero percent alcohol. In fact, I think this is negative. One percent alcohol. What? Damn. You could go negative. But <laughs> I think that's what they do for infants. That's but really. That's really good. It says point seven something, but that means uh, you'll catch a light. No, no. I, all I see is Joe pee pee. <laughs> Joe pee pee. Joe pee pee. So, so it does have negative alcohol. Joe. It has point seven alcohol. So this is gonna be added to Which our in, nothing. international list of beers. Oh yeah, yeah. Mo, ela- elaborate. Yeah. Mo. Where yeah. is this from? Where are you from? I've never had this. Where you be from? I'm Palestinian. Palestinian. All right. Let's see where this is from. This is Arabic. He this was says, going to bring this is, another beer. This is Cicero, Illinois. What? Oh, that's the super, long, <laughs> that's far distant what? land of Cicero, <laughs> Illinois. 
Do you guys say it the way we say Cicero? 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 Cicero. 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 That's what my dad would say. Cicero. In la Cicero. Yeah, this is distributed by Ziad Brothers Importing. Go Ziad Brothers. Cicero, Illinois. Can you put it right in the square? Zero four. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It is a yeah. twist top. Oh, it's a twist top? Even better. What? I like because, that. Uh, it, it, it even comes with instructions, too. Yes. It has <laughs> arrows on which way to twist because they know that if you're Muslim and drinking this beer, you've probably never seen one of these in your life, so you probably need instructions. It's like, what <laughs> is happening? Why does this look like a Heineken? This thing is foaming, boys. Well, Yeah, why does it look like a red Heineken? What's going on here? What is? What does this say up here? And, um, I think that says Barbican. Can I get that tattooed on me? Because it looks really cool. <laughs> you could. <laughs> on, on my neck. <laughs> on my neck. Well, you know what this says? Make reasonable choices. <laughs> it smells good. Oh, it does smell good. Oh, sure. Alrighty then. This is cool. Ooh. Mo, can you tell the audience why you brought us non-alcoholic beer? <laughs> um... <laughs> Drink. He cannot drink today because <laughs> yeah, his, his, his pilot responsibilities prevent him from drinking today. He's, He's on, on the reserve. Call. He's on reserve. That means this man could get called and gone into bat. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, he can, just knowing my luck, I would definitely get a call. He's probably gonna Maybe. call right now yeah. and be like, and hey. Be like yeah. "Hey, it's like, hey, dude, there's a fucking traffic jam right <laughs> now on the 290. We need you." <laughs> so, hey, man, the other guy called off of work, so we need you to take the flight tonight. It's like, yeah, oh, know, man. Know, knowing my luck, that's what. We, that's exactly. All right, well, let's give it and a quick sniffy, sniffy test because it smells like soda to me. Cheers, boys. Oh my god, it smells like fucking Fanta. Let's try. Let's try it. It is super sweet. <laughs> Holy shit. That's really sweet. Ooh. But I can't stop. I don't even know no, if it counts as beer. I mean, water, sugar, malt. Yeah, it has 111 malts. 111 calories. Yeah, that's the sugar, dude. Yeah, yeah. this is that's the sugar. sugar. <laughs> but it's exactly a hundred. Have you ever seen anything with a one, one, 111. 111 calories? This is such a weird. It's specific. <laughs> yes. That's, that's recur- this looks like, um, what is that? Uh, Wine cooler, with the yeah. uh, with the clear blue. Yes, those. That's what I was gonna say. Kind of like, like Smirnoff that. Ice ones. No, the other ones. The one that like the white girl drinks. <laughs> Smirnoff Ice. No, not those. Yeah. the one with the come in like four pack. It's like a beach looking yeah. on the back. Not white claw. No, no white claw. I can't think of it right now. But I do. Let's give uh, kudos to Ozzy because he made these cool ass coasters. He did. Yeah, man. He was waiting man. for me to say something. You didn't notice. You don't pay attention to me, Mario. Ozzy, Ozzy's an arts and craftsman. Well, of course not. You never pay attention to me. <laughs> what, we got, what we got here? What brewery is this? Uh, we got Mars, Three Floyds. Um, Founders. Founders. And the green one is, um, I don't know. Beguile? Beguile? Beguile. Beguile, Beguile Brewing. Beguile Brewing. Hmm. Shout out to you guys. You Very did. cool. All breweries. I knew that saving all my stickers were gonna, play, all right. were gonna pay out at the end. Hell yeah, so dude. as as far as non-alcoholic beers, this is my favorite goddamn non-alcoholic yeah. beer. Yeah, oh, they're pretty yeah. good. This hell is yeah. fucking delicious. I got it's a question. Sweet. So, do you get in trouble when if you drink this while you drive? Uh, I mean, you shouldn't. I mean, like you if you're just drinking out the bottle, kicking well, it. Like, it's still I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, by default, I think they could pull you over because you are like distracted while you're drinking. Well, I mean, while you're driving. Oh, you're what drinking? if you had a straw? <laughs> okay, then I think they don't allow it. Then, <laughs> Señor, es un Sprite de Mexico. They make it Dude, um, that's reminding me like when I was a kid, whenever I used to buy like sangrias. Yeah. And, and like they're in the shape of beer bottles, and then you were just like, hey, just put the brown bag on it. <laughs> dude, and, they just fucking, yeah. and they just walk around, and the cops were like, hey, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, like you don't think we beer? fucking see you? And then you just fucking pull that out, and then they show the sangria, and then they're like, you know, we can just give you a fucking ticket for bullshitting us, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, oh shit, you can? To kids? Yeah. Can we you? don't care. No. <laughs> What's well, better than what our parents said? Like, they're, they're, you know, we can take you, right? We can just take you. Take me. Now, as you're an adult, you're like, you got to book me. There's paperwork. You got to handcuff me. Put me in the back of the car. Man, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Just kidding. So, <laughs> not that I know about that. But. So, you're a pilot. Yes, sir. What kind of a pilot are you? Commercial. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm, an, I'm an airline pilot. Uh-huh. And the, sort of like the, uh, the different groups you can put them in are private, commercial, and airline. And uh, private pilot would be a lot of people when they hear private pilot, they think it's someone who flies like, you know, private jets or, or corporate planes. But really, a private pilot is uh, someone who just can fly 
like a single engine airplane, like a four seater or a two seater mm -hmm. with like their friends and family in the back. And a commercial pilot, that just means you can get paid to, to fly. To fly. fly. Exactly. Oh, sure. Like a private okay. pilot can't legally get paid. Oh, fly. sure. Okay. Um, a commercial pilot, that means, okay, I can now get a job as like a banner tower, like, you know, flying oh, mm -hmm. the Geico signs or some shit like that. Oh. So, um, so if. Cool. So can you be like, even though you are a private pilot, can you still be, once you're contracted by just like an individual, you automatically become a commercial, or, so, or are those two two different licenses? Yeah, exactly. It's two different licenses. Okay. So you get your private license, and then um, later on you get your commercial license, and then later on you get your airline pilot license. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then. they sort of just build off of each other. So I guess the best one is airline. Yeah, that would be that would be the highest. Because you could literally like you fly anything if you have the license, or um, so or bigger. Ba planes. Basically, um, basically that allows you to fly passengers uh, for oh. for an airline. Essentially, is what oh, okay. that license okay. does. Every airplane that weighs above twelve thousand five hundred pounds requires its own license. Oh, um, sure. So, like a, a seven sixty seven or a seven forty seven or a seven thirty seven. Um, Damn. would each require its own specific license to fly. So I fly a 767. If I walked into a 737, I would not know how to like start it up and shut it down. Is it really that is it really that different? I could probably BS my way through it, but it wouldn't be legal for me to Okay. Cause you're not, you don't really okay. cuz you don't really know what you're doing. Right, you yeah. haven't right. you haven't okay. been um, you haven't put through you haven't been put through emergency situations in that mm. plane. Um, you haven't seen any non-normal things in that plane and oh, sure. And yeah, it's still an airplane, but every airplane still has its own like little. So, um, are planes? Uh, what is it called? Um, so, like, you said you fly seven seven sixty seven. Yeah, I fly seven sixty seven. How many companies make that kind of plane? Um, so the seven sixty seven is made by Boeing, uh -huh. um, and pretty much every major airline has had or has currently a seven sixty seven. So if so, do they like if? If they were to sit you in a different brand of a like a, a different make of of, of a seven six seven, not the one that the Boeing, right, right. would the inside of it be exact? Does it so, have to so, be specifically the same? So, um, no. A lot of the seven sixty sevens, especially at my company, are different, okay. and my company hmm. publishes this manual that says, okay, these are the differences between every plane. So. Um, the plane I fly is a 767, but every plane has its own unique registration number. Mm -hmm. So I can look up the registration number and be like, okay, that's what I'm flying today. This is what this plane is equipped with. This is what it's not equipped with that I'm used to. And then, you know, if I were to go, you know, to, let's say, a different airline like UPS and mm -hmm. fly their 767, it should theoretically be the same. Legally, I could, mm -hmm. I could go do that. But there might be some small differences that I'd still want to research before I go fly. Wow. Oh, so sure. why, why just traditional airplanes as opposed to... A helicopter. Um, for me, I grew up under O'Hare's flight path, and oh. I just like <laughs> was as a little kid. I would just you like that? Yeah. Um, also, there's more money in in um, <laughs> an airplane flying right. versus right. helicopter flying. It's the bottom dollar makes my yeah. decisions. Yeah. Yep. I think down the road I'd like to do helicopters, but um, you don't really fly people um, or really anything with helicopter flying. It's isn't more, it more complicated too? Um, isn't it more like more math? Not really. Um, I think the general the, the general foundation knowledge is probably the same, but it's mostly just like the psychomotor aspect of it. Like you're flying more with your with a helicopter. I, I might be completely wrong, but with a helicopter, you're flying more with your um, feet, and uh, you've got like a little stick in the middle to so, steer to steer with. So, so the flight so, controls are a little different, and it's so, hard to transition. So if, uh, uh, on a standard plane, there's no feet pedals or anything. So there are rudder pedals, but you're rarely you're rarely using them, um, especially in a big jet. Um, really, you're only using them when you have uh, either an engine failure or if there's a strong crosswind. In a smaller plane, you're using your rotor pedals a little bit more. Um, the the uh, bigger jets have a system that basically make it easier to control the plane. Here's a little plane, actually. That's where the rudder, that's where the rudder is at the back. Mm. Um, and uh, basically, bigger planes have a system that allow you to um, have more control over that, so that you're or rather so that the control of it over it is automatic, so that you're not really messing with your feet too much. Mm. Oh, okay. On All the right. ground, you're using the rudders to steer the plane. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It steers the nose wheel. So, Chacho, coño. Every single time I've ever seen a movie. <laughs> Obviously, there is a shit ton of fucking buttons all over the place. Yeah. Obviously, every button does something. Is there a button in it that 
doesn't do anything <laughs> it doesn't do anything um yeah there are some buttons that are um they're just like dummy buttons or it used to do something and they took that feature out oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. and do you ever just fuck around with them just like i try not to touch <laughs> anything that i don't have to touch. okay okay that's fair <laughs> is there a horn on any of these planes that play the cucaracha sound like <laughs> <laughs> um i've seen a plane like that one uh, that somebody installed a horn on, that, that, like a musical horn. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. So not all planes are created equal. Who'd have thunk it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Chacho. So now my my other question for you is, uh, do you, aside now that you are a commercial, is is an airline is an airline like license what mm-hmm. you're what you're going for, or you're just like I don't know, I'm glad I'm just in the air. Um. So really, there there really isn't you know a uh, a higher license for me to get now that I, now that I got my airline pilot license uh, a couple years ago I am happy to be in the air for sure um, I guess I could fly like I don't know it would be cool to fly like a 747 which is the plane with the like the upper deck mm-hmm. that, that big gigantic yeah. oh, plane the biggest ones. Um, so I, I guess that would be really cool to fly that um, but I mean every day I get to go to work is, is usually a, a pretty good day uh, awesome. do you ever uh, so how many countries have you flied planes in? Um, I actually have only flown into Canada. Into Canada, <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, my company flies uh, pretty much all over, though. I just started last month, mm-hmm. and I've only done domestic routes. The furthest I've gone is Honolulu, a um, couple other islands in Hawaii. But uh, hopefully, next month, do some more flying to Europe, South so America. Casu- so casually. So casually. So, yeah. <laughs> so the first time you flew, like in, like, like all you see was just the horizon, water, sky, yeah. and you're just like, oh man, here we go. Yeah. That's just like, like how long are you in the air for that? Uh, we we did a LA to a Kona, and that was about five and a half hours, and you could see the sun setting, and it's like the coolest thing. And it's just uh, it's all awesome. water. Yeah. So when you're looking at yeah. the water, are you looking for free willy? Because that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't know about you. That's, there really isn't a whole he's lot. He's back in I, California, dude. Uh, <laughs> my bad, my bad. He's a movie star. He's not going to be out there. Man. I think he's dead, actually. Chacho. Oh, shit. Because he's free. <laughs> I got it. That's, that's how you feel, bro? Next Damn. time I hop over, I should look out for him. I was kind of. <laughs> yeah, man. I was kind of just staying inside but now that i know staying now that i've done it once i can look outside more now. <laughs> all right cool look just, just stay in my yeah, hey, like, hey. for your first couple of like flights were you like you know like tense at the grip like you're just like don't fuck up don't fuck up um yeah definitely when i was like flying the little little planes and then again when i transitioned to my first jet you sort of death grip and you know i'm also a flight instructor and one of the things i tell my students is don't death, death grip the yoke like if i can't overpower you on my end you're holding it too tight so one trick that i would basically do for my students is i'd have them hold a pen in between their fingers so that if they did uh, grip tight it would hurt them, it would hurt them yeah. <laughs> yeah so Smart. basically Smart. pain to, yeah so they can <laughs> to, like it's a hurt. reminder yeah. like, like like animals yeah get um it. but most get planes most planes you can fly with just two fingers how many students do you have on your belt now um actively i've only got like three or four that i'm still working with um but I've flown with at least like 40 or 50 students. And how many of them have, oh, sure. do you know, that have gone on to like proceed and gotten their license and stuff like that? Um, pretty much all, everyone I've flown with has eventually gotten their license, um, either with me or with someone else. Uh, talk about a good, t- talk about a success rate, dude. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, cool. All of them. Um, this boy's like Master Jedi over here, bro. <laughs> Damn, I wish, yeah. son. Okay. Um, a couple of them are going to continue their training and try to become airline pilots themselves. That's uh, super dope. One just got his uh, commercial and he's working on his in- his instructor license now. Okay. Congratulations yeah. to that person. Yeah. yeah. How cool. hard is it to no, how hard is the the test or um would you say it's ACT difficult? <laughs> ACT difficult. Honestly, I know a lot of stupid pilots. So oh, I don't ooh, think it's that. So it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> um I, no just, plus well. <laughs> you know, just make good decisions and uh and know your left and right pe- up and down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> some people just need more time than others, but um for the most part, pilots are generally really motivated people because they, they want, yeah, they want to do it. They want to, right? They want to be good at it. They don't want to do anything stupid, so they tend to, you know, do the good job. Do so, a good job, yeah. Um, when you're not like at work, um, are you like at home, like on a flight simulator? Nah. <laughs> no, you, you're, yeah, or you're just like I don't need it anymore. I used to play the flight simulator all, all the time, um, but now, now if I pick it up, I'll just be like, wait, 
I do this every day. Yeah, I, I, I need to do it in real life. I, I work have, it for if, free. If I, I have an idea, it, you know, if I have an idea, like I want to see, oh, what happens if I do this? Then yeah, I might jump on it real quick and just be like, okay, what like, would what happen if I did this? What happens if I just walk out the plane right now? Let's just see what happens. What happens if I Denzel Washington my way through this? Denzel Washington. That was a good movie. Flight. Yeah. Um, what is it called? No, so it's crazy. Plane. So <laughs> essentially, you've had an interest since you were a kid to yeah. become a pilot. All right. So my other question to you is why was the military ever an option for you? Um, not really. Never at yeah, all? Yeah, I know. A lot of people go down that route. Um, like Navy or, or, or Air Force or something like that. Um, I, and honestly, like growing up, I thought that was like the only way to do it. And that that's one of the one of the reasons that sort of steered me away from doing it. Oh, okay. Because I, right. you know, I just didn't want to do that. Okay. Um, but eventually i just literally googled how to become an airline pilot and dude there's a fucking in, there's an instruction place that's two blocks from my house it, it, literally damn dude I didn't, literally. I, didn't, I didn't i didn't i didn't go to the dude, office. Like, why are you still <laughs> driving here bro we have a helipad back there no I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny i actually flew andre once yeah he, uh, he flew me and my wife for our uh, one year wedding anniversary it was a nice surprise mm, yeah. and, and uh this kid is um i would say like shaky he, <laughs> no, he keeps, he, he keeps you calm, and I'm always calm with Mo. So he's just like come talking normal, and everyone's just like, "Were you scared? Were you scared?" I'm like, "No, we were shooting the shit until we were in the air." And then Pretty I'm sure just like, you were like really high too. That <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell Mo that I Both. smoked until after right. work. Well, no, like, no, 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 he's talking about the plane. The plane <laughs> yeah, really high that day. I said I shouldn't have technically flown you, but I was like, "Oh my bad." Bro. I just wanted to get a little, you know, a little one more, and you know, stay. But I need are there uh, aside from the 747 is there another style of plane that you would like to fly like cargo or fuck it even just a just a a, a decommissioned uh yeah. a decommissioned fighter jet um i think it'd be cool to fly to fly a fighter jet um i don't know i'm what about like what about like world war Two? Uh, jets. Or the bombers, yeah, those, yeah, those, those, those would those be bombers cool. Are, are, yeah. Um, the uh, actually, the, the next thing that's on my list is a plane, a fucking uh, Spitfire from England. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually want to fly a glider plane. It's a oh, sure. it's a plane with no engine, basically. Yeah. And well, that's the well. <laughs> just remember that this was the last time you saw him alive. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's got these really long wings, just like fucking clenched right now. You said that shit. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> and uh, the way it gets in the air is it's actually towed by a plane like this, and there'll be like a rope, and hmm. this plane takes off and it picks up the glider behind it, and then the the tow pilot will cut the rope, and uh, the glider pilot will just use you know air that's air. rising uh -huh. to gain altitude and then they have they still have like a stick and everything to, to land the plane and to steer the plane but um <laughs> those will rarely make it back to a runway and that's normal i thought you were gonna say <laughs> that those will rarely come back ever. <laughs> <laughs> rarely do man no, so they're no, made out of they, 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 <laughs> so it's not a promotion is what you're saying. it's, a, it's, it's a, not a promotion it's a demotion yeah i know it's it's a, but it's you know it, it really gives you a lot of um there's a, a lot of skill involved with it to be able to glide the plane exactly where you want and get it get it down safely. There was a famous um, incident. It was a uh, Canadian airline. It was a 767 actually um, that ran out of fuel, and the pilot. It's it's the record for the longest glide of of a, of a 767. He some somewhere over the Atlantic. He he landed it on an island, um, and the guy was a glider pilot actually. Um, Shout out he to Canadians, bro. Used his skill as a glider pilot to, um, to, to land the airplane. Like, oh, don't a worry, he was I, a I got this. He dude. was a really interesting guy. They made a movie about him. He's a, he, he, Denzel Washington? No. Nah. <laughs> <Denzel Washington? laughs> so um, this guy actually spent time in jail for drug smuggling, too, before the this. Damn, yeah. Shorty. Yeah. He's, Wait, no, he's, I didn't think I fucking blow, is it? No. <laughs> right, he's, li he's lived quite the life, this, this, Cana this, this French Canadian pilot. Can you imagine? He's just like, we're going down. He's like, I'm putting my Drake headphones on. It's like, Started from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> but uh, before we take a break, uh, do you guys want to rate our? Um, dude, so I fucking yeah. love this. Our so strawberry soda. You, you uh, uh, dude, you drink it, As far as non alcoholic, as far as non alcoholics, man, I'll fucking order a million of these they're, fucking things. <laughs> this is way better than the ones we had before. The yeah. Fucking, they, uh, sorry yeah, about uh, those athletic ones. So. Well, yeah. did you guys no, have no? no so those athletic ones, the, those two. Mm, <laughs> no, 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 but but I mean like 
the, the, those were just like seasonal ones. Like we, we, we need That's to true. try out their year their year round their year round ones because those motherfuckers have stuck. The ones that make money. <laughs> the ones that make the I'm money. Still still <laughs> gonna, but, but, I mean, I'll try it. But, but as far as I know, I'm giving this bad boy an eight. Me too. I'll give it an eight. I thought I was gonna say an eight. What would you like to give your father's beer? Because he's um, watching us right now live. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hi, Mo's dad. Um, I'll give it. I'll give it a nine. Nine. Ooh. 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 Favoritism. Okay. Favoritism. Because okay. okay. my dad is watching. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Why don't we go glide our way to get another beer? Let's do this, guys. All right. We'll be right, right. back right after this small commercial break from our sponsors. Go download the price of Go download. Hey. Welcome back. Hey. We're back. Hey. Long time no see. All right. So, uh, to start off with our, uh, our our second beverage of the night, uh, so Teddy, what do we got? We got we got microphone brewing, microphone brewing. Check one two one two. This is notorious. So, for any any of you guys that don't know, uh, my, microphone uh, brewing comes out kind of, of uh, they're out of Elk Grove. Um, all of their beers are inspired by musical artists. So this one is this one? by Burger. By the Big Pop. By the Big Pop. Two local beers. One from Cicero and one from Algren. <laughs> Two <laughs> local from, beers. No, noon Whistle. One, We're one putting international. Your time. <laughs> one international from Cicero. Oh, we got a blue one. <laughs> we got a blue one. Yay. Noon Whistle. We're, 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 we're going to take this one out. This is messing up our... Fuck, f- our flow. fuck those turtles, our dude. Flow. <laughs> fuck those turtles, dude. Sorry, Noon Whistle. We love you. All right. What we got here? Lunches, brunches, interviews. Ooh. Ooh. We so it's a double IPA yeah, with, with New Zealand, uh, Nielsen, Chavon. Damn. And Moruka Hopes. Shout out to Alyssa and Nick Segura for this uh, awesome yeah. artwork. This looks cool as shit. They, 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 they turned a hop into big, into big, big hopper. Big hopper. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Right. Go. Shout out to you guys. All right, let's do this, man. I'll put a little on yours. Just a reminder, Mo is on Mo, reserve today, so drink. he's gonna continue rocking. She's doing a smell test. Just wait, a smell test. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for us. <laughs> This already looks good. Damn. Talk about having a head. <laughs> I'm not used to being in the middle, guys. I'm getting, getting used to this. All this combined. It's just like, I don't know where I am. First, you were complaining that you were not in the middle. Nice. Right? <laughs> I never complained. Now I, you're the I center just, of attention. I just commented once in a while. <laughs> All right. Well, let's give it a little, a little smell. Sniff. Smell. Give it a little smell. smell. All right. Hey. And um, sniff. Ooh. This smells really good. It smells real strong. It smells like 7.75% like alcohol. Peach. 75% on oh my mace. Kind of smells like weed. There. Not that I would know what that smells like. <laughs> what is that? It does. Wait, what? You also that. What? Wheat? Like the stuff that grows outside? Like, yes. <laughs> like the devil's lettuce? Like the devil's lettuce. All right. Let's give it a try, guys. All right. All right. Salute. Salute, caballeros. Salute to Mo. Mo is on uh, drink. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, right. I'll continue with my pink. Strawberry. Mm. Oh, that's double hop for show. Yeah. Put the mother that's better. The the smell kind of throws you off. Double it does. IPA. It throws I you off. It really be, dude, it, it, it's just like, don't worry, baby. I got you. Fuck out of here, nah, dude. I got right? you, bitch. Fuck out of here, dude. Got you, bitch. You thought I was going to be sweet. Don't worry that I look like guava juice. Yeah. Ignore me. Oh, so I thought it was going to take like like peachy. I, I, it smells I, like no, it's, yeah. it's got so, a really cool color. Yeah. So it's real. Real frothy, real, real this real thick, yeah, <laughs> real thick. Uh, she thick. IPA got that, but you know that IPA taste, double double IPA, just like yeah, but it's not, it's not that bitter, dude. No, it's it not is. like it's not like overpowering. Bitter. That initial bitter instantly fucking evaporates. This new and then it's just all. There's sm- this little flavor that wants to give you like a like a like a, like like a new peach new flavor, like a New Zealand. Like orange flavor, but it, it might, doesn't come up. It might be a New Zealand thing. Who knows? It's a New, Z- New Zealand? They know how to New make beer. They know how to make beer. beer. That sounds more Australian. Yeah. That was, yeah. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> they know I, how to make I beer. I couldn't tell the difference. They know how to make beer. Anyway. <laughs> now, you're, now you're kind of sounding a little... <laughs> now, now, now you're starting to sound like you're fucking trying to pretend to be an Australian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, fuck. He's, He's down, trying. He's trying. Down under. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but, so... 
Man, this is fucking. I like this. It's good. This is I like this. Good. This is really fucking good. good. What do you guys want to give? I'm, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this. Damn, go fuck shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me give you one. Because because right. I because I had an initial number, but now it's just like like the more and more I, I, I taste it, I'm just like all the flavors trying to start to come out. Right, you have to drink it a little bit more. Uh, there's more flavor coming out of it. All right. But shout out to microphone. All right, they're uh, overall. I'm giving this bitch a fucking. I'm giving this an eight, dude. (laughs) Me too. That's the number I thought. Who's gotten a ten? Only one. No, no, no. Across the across the board, three beers. We we've done three beers that that done ten across the board. Two of them are more, and one of no, no. One of them is one of them is more, and two of them are are phase three. Word. No. The last one we fucked. Oh no 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 no. No, no, one of them is one it. of them is more. One of them is phase three, and the other one is the fucking tangerine. The tangerine, tangerine god damn, dude. Tangerine, tangerine that puppets. fucking beer, dude. That, that beer we tasted that to. fucking. We we, didn't, we 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 stopped drinking it, dude. We immediately gave it a fucking ten and ended the episode. No, I'm, 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 no, like, like, I'm gonna no, take no, you. Like, like, I'm, I'm gonna take you to drink this beer. This is delicious. Like this, right. like this beer. We we do thought you, it, we thought it was gonna be good. We're like, it's not gonna be good. It looks like a fucking bush beer. Do you drink beer when you're not on call? Um. Or are you more of a of a wine kind of sort? Hon- honestly, I don't I don't really drink a whole lot. He's like okay. a social drinker. Yeah. Oh, okay, right? Like you'll hang when we hang out. Like you'll take one. Yeah, but that's just to be cool. And part just, of to, just, just, just to fit in. Just to fit in. Just to fit in. Peer pressure. Just to fit in. Just to fit in. Peer pressure. Yeah. Right. It's I don't okay. know. When I when I retire, I'll probably be a stoner. Okay. Right. Amen. Okay. But, uh, oh, you know good. what we should do? We should we should find we should find more we should find find more beers. Uh, weed beer? Yeah, weed beers. Is that a real thing? That mm-hmm. is a real fucking thing, dude. It's so a real I, thing. I can tell you guys a story about Mo. Mo used was um, when he worked for AT and T. He moved out to San Francisco, and then after <laughs> maybe not tell all the story. And then after after, uh, <laughs> after that he after the Cubs <laughs> won the World Series, we went out there and we were giving him shit. It was 2016. Is that bitch? And, uh, <laughs> we were just rubbing it in because his team had not won since 05. So Mo was just, you know, having a pity party. And we're all out there like, woo, with all of our championship stuff. And then and we haven't done any of that for dude, years remember, now. But dude, I remember when the fucking Sox won in 05, dude. I, uh, it, I was, Me too. I was, in high I, was like, I was like, wait, when is the World Series? November. In November. So I was, ar- so I was already a sophomore. Um, I, I just remember uh, all these fucking people were like, "Oh, dude, I rep both sides. I don't give a fuck." And then once the fucking Sox, it was like, "I made my decision, man. I'm a Sox fan. Fuck out of here, dude." <laughs> man. And then after that, they just fucking downward spiral. Do they been yep. shit yeah. since? Right. Yep. It's, it's, it's rough. rough. It's rough out here for Sox fans. But. It is, dude. They could have made a fucking dynasty with Canerco, but no. That was a fun San Francisco trip, though. It was. It was really yeah. good time. First time being in. First time being in Cali before going with uh, them. So were you, were you training? Yeah, a lot of time. In, uh, no, that was before I even started flying. Okay. Um, yeah, that's why we were pretty mischievous. Yeah. <laughs> Before I had to behave, we did San Francisco things. <laughs> we, did did very, San Francisco we did things. very San Francisco that. things to where like. So you guys skateboarded <laughs> downhill. Uh, <laughs> we went with to, no helmets. We went to a park, and then there was a guy uh, smoking material. Right, we'll say <laughs> that. Smoking material. And he had no lighter. He was just using the power of the sun oh, with yeah. a magnifying glass I to, remember light, to light his bong. To light there. his bong. If, I should, if that was not the most hippiest thing I've ever fucking seen in my life, dude, I was just I like, you, bro. Dude, I thought you were going to be fucking just a flint and stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this Flint's man had a stone, magnifying dude. glass and he's getting the sun's reflection to light his ball. And like, he's <laughs> not saying nothing to nobody and people are like looking at it. You think he was a fucking mime. He's just... Did you guys ever used to do that when you guys were kids? It's just like, no, there's no fucking way that works. I'm going to put my fucking hand right there. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> Burn kill ants that way. Then you started killing ants. That's how <laughs> yeah. it starts. You, you burn yourself, then you start killing ants. You get a god complex. <laughs> you live, you die. I'm pretty sure that's how. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, what, what was his name? Uh, Dahmer. I'm pretty sure that's how it yeah, started. That's just pretty with the much fucking, how. With you guys watch that shit on Netflix? Yeah, this shit was wild. Scary. I never watched so, it. Yeah. Well, I want you to tell. I want uh, you to tell us a funny story. Shit. And I got a. I got an example that you can give us. Oh, I have a funny yeah. story. <laughs> I think Mo knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. So. Once upon a time, yeah. when Mo and he I flew fl- Dahmer, flew Dahmer, <laughs> we met. We found each other at an AT&T store downtown. It was like a training thing, and Mo knew who I was, but didn't know who I was because he only met he me just through. Heard of him, which is like, hey, that's no, no, we had guy. met. We like, had met. We had dude? met. But you guys weren't like really talking. So I'll let him continue the story. Just let it's. it's <laughs> so this was probably like maybe within a month after Andre and that, Andre and I met for the first time, and like he said, we were at the same event at the AT&T store downtown. And I don't know, we just started talking and 
um, Andre, Andre's super social, as you guys know. Like mm-hmm. he, he can meet someone for the first time and yeah, you think they're annoyingly. best friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I, I don't know. We were talking and we were getting along, and and somehow he, uh, our mutual friend Ugo came up, and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, you know, you know, Ugo. I just met Ugo's friend Andre uh, last month. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you and, don't say. And you I, was don't like, say. I was like, do you know Andre? And he's like, yeah, no I know Andre. Me. I am Andre. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> I was not wearing my. And just like the thing. level of embarrassment. <laughs> that I had. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! And Do that's we- when you guys became best friends. And <laughs> <then>. <laughs> Ugo's apartment was really dark. That, to my defense, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was at night when we met. It was really dark. And and it, really the dark tiny ass apartment. And <laughs> right. Yeah, I that's, that's a great fucking story. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Till this day, bro, Mo Mo just be like, hey, remember when I it was like, hey, <laughs> do you know you? <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. I'm the coolest motherfucker you've ever <laughs> that, met, bro. That, that, he, took, he took it like a champ. I'd probably get pissed if that happened to me. And he was like, uh, yeah, I am Andre. <laughs> Cut off. It's got to go. Just the level of embarrassment that I had that day. <laughs> Hilarious. Me. That's, that's another. Damn, dude. <laughs> that's a cool story. And I know that story. It's awesome. Uh, yeah. so, Best friends ever since. Uh, how many years of training would you say you needed to do before you even took your initial test? Um, cool. yeah, for my private, it I it took about nine months because I was also working at AT and T full time. Hmm. Um, so it, how many hours of like? That was for me. That was about ninety hours. Ninety hours um, in the in the airplane, and probably like another forty hours of like classroom stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, one hundred thirty hours. So you have to do one hundred thirty hours to like. For yes. my private, yeah, but oh, okay. the minimum is is actually only four, 40 hours, and my best students have gotten it in like fifty hours. Holy shit! Um, because they were you know going nonstop, and they got it done in like you know a month or so. Damn. Yeah, Damn. it's possible to get your private in like you know if you're doing that every day and you're in an area with good weather and you're you're just generally so don't do it in Chicago. Got it? <laughs> yeah, Chicago's rough. Um, there's you know you might be able to get a month stretch where you can get good weather every day, but. Arizona, Florida, those are the places to like get consistently Florida? good weather. Yeah. Florida, really? Yeah, you can avoid as long as you can avoid the thunderstorms. Just choppy <laughs> winds over there. Yeah. Okay. How Arizona, Arizona, Phoenix area is a really good area to get training done because it's pretty much calm winds and blue skies every day. What about uh? Yeah. What about closer to like Oklahoma, Texas? No, or is uh, it just or get, just because it's too goddamn like? Um, cute, like pe- people get their training done there too. Uh, Chicago's tough for sure, yeah. but I got all my training in Chicago. Explains why you got 130 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Explains why it took so long. Yeah. So yeah. what's been your favorite uh, flight so far? Oh man. Um, Wait. No. 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 What was your first non-instructor uh, instructor flight? Um, you well, mean like my first solo? Like yeah. My first yeah. Solo or just flight? like hey, just, you're on your own now. Yeah. So um, prior to you getting your private license, you have to do at least 10 hours of solo time. Um, I did my solo in May of 2018. I want to say it was the first time I soloed the plane. Um, that was really cool. Was it like one of those? Planes? Yeah, it was exactly like it was a Cessna 172, just like that. I remember landing and just like giggling, like holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I just I just do this. I just landed it the first time. And usually for your first solo, you do three laps in the traffic pattern at the airport, um, and uh, the second lap. I did when I was in the air. I like completely forgot to like pull my power back. So all of a sudden I was going like super fast. And I was like, oh shit, that explains why I'm climbing. So when you don't have an instructor there, you, you know, there's no one there to like be that Make second set of eyes. <laughs> okay. You got you to gotta watch yourself. So, um, <laughs> what's the scariest thing that has happened to you? Yeah. Um, so if anything more, scary has happened, because has, has an engine ever turned off on you? I had a uh, when I was with a student. I had a like a rough running engine. It was like the plane was like shaking violently. Uh-huh. I'd say that was probably in hindsight like the scariest, but in the moment it was just like all right. It's just we're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I already know how to. I, know, I already know how to fix this. <laughs> it was. It was. I don't know. We were kind of in between two airports when the when the the engine started shaking and we lost like we, we didn't lose complete power but we lost partial power um and uh luckily it was like during covid time so the sky was empty so oh, there was really nice. no one in my way 
And I just went straight to the airport. And is that scary? Is there traffic on in in the air? Is there traffic? Yeah, yeah. There's there's traffic in the air, and there's um. That's a really good question. There's ways to there's def, there's a bunch of different ways to avoid traffic. Um, but once you get high enough, it's all controlled. It's when you mm. get low is when you know you have to like coordinate, oh, okay, coordinate gotcha. with other people. And, mm. But um, once you get high enough, air traffic control keeps you separated for the so most part. So how how close can you get to a plane before what it's doing affects what you're fucking yeah. doing? Um, it depends what phase of flight you're in. Um, if you look at like an airport at, like San Francisco where they've got two parallel runways that are really close to each other, you'll see planes like go side by side and, and land. Um, sometimes when you're flying super high up. Mm -hmm. Um, a heavy, a big heavy airplane, ideally you would not want that to be flying above a smaller private jet because mm -hmm. it could cause wake turbulence. Um, just all the air rolling off the wing of a bigger plane can it just cause slap. waves and okay. just slap the shit out of the okay. private jet, which, <laughs> all right, all right. which has happened. Um, the biggest. Uh, so no matter what, the higher you go, you want the smaller shit to just to be, be on top. It. Okay, yeah, above all right, it, got it. it. And most private jets actually fly higher than um, airliners. So usually they'll fly at like 45,000 feet or higher, and then private jets, or then airliners. 45,000 feet. Yeah. And then. Um, <laughs> Casually. Wait, wait <laughs> is, that, is, is, is that above clouds or. or um, not necessarily. The clouds can get that high. So you'd okay. be up in yeah. the clouds? Yes. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> uh, Get funny. No, the reason I ask is because whenever I'm like, whenever I'm like, whenever I used to drive back from work or whenever I'm like all the way up north and then I'm driving back and I'm, and I'm passing by O'Hare and then you see like the planes like in a line, yeah. but they're always like a certain distance away from right. each other. Like, is, is that is that like is that taught there or is that what you're told like in the? Uh, like in the headset, like, hey, you need to fucking slow down because this guy's so you're they, really you're you're really close to exactly. the person in front of you. As you get closer to O'Hare, air traffic control will start to restrict your speed. Uh huh. Um, so that ideally everyone is flying the same speed. Okay. Um, and that's what creates the spacing. I'm not really making a conscious effort saying I need to stay four miles away from him and four miles away from him, but air traffic control is the one that's telling me to do that by giving me a speed to fly all right Holy shit. yeah and that's what makes that cool line all the way over the lake get cool so yeah. um get so cool. whenever so whenever Science. like i know there's, so, there's a lot of things that go into everything shit, yeah because i i don't know how the hell you can decode like traffic control because like they'll be saying some shit but they're not talking to you they're talking to a different fucking plane but you could just listen to it yeah. can't you yeah so um when they are talking to you they will address you by your call sign so okay. um when i'm flying a little when I'm flying the little planes, my call sign would be the the manufacturer of the planes, so like Cessna in this case, and then my registration number, which is in this case on the model is 470 Echo Sierra ES. So my call sign would be probably like Cessna Zero Echo Sierra. And when I hear air, tra air traffic control say that, I know they're talking to me. And then mm -hmm. I can also hear them talk to other planes so I can get an idea of what's going on around me. Damn, All right, Shorty. That's how I talk to people on my headset when I play Call of Duty online. You, That's use, exactly the <laughs> you, you use the phonetic alphabet? Echo yeah. Sierra. Al alpha Flank Bravo. left. Alpha Bravo. <laughs> So whenever I died. So here's another question for you. Sad because face. of the fact that you've learned how to do that, uh, the, like reading the letters that way, like no, knowing like Echo Sierra, fucking Alpha, all that jazz. Right. <laughs> whenever you, whenever you go to a store and they ask you, it's like, hey, would you like to sign up for the membership? Yeah, sure, I'll fucking do it. Well, yeah, what's your name? You say your name. You say the full name, and then you start saying the letters. Um, do you ever do that? W uh, not. I try not to. Because I feel like you just sound like a douche like a if, you're, yeah. <laughs> if you're doing that and you're not at work. Uh, but it is hard to turn off my um, phraseology at work when I at work. I have life. a lot of military people at work. They do that. Yeah, yeah. They, they so do it. Just, they just do it. They, it, don't, they it do it unconsciously. Fucking, they I, just I, do it. I've never been in the military, but I have so many military friends, and I just did like JROTC when I was in high school the entire fucking time. I just like it. It still hasn't like left my mind that whenever I'm signing up for anything, like what's your first name, Mario? Uh, M A R I O. Uh, last name of Roscoe O R O Z C O, and then like, we're, 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 like we're, we're, I, I gotta ask you, were you in the military? No, why? Just like, cause you just fucking that shit just kicked right in, and I'm just like, no, nah, dude, that's that's high school beating it into me, dude. <laughs> that's funny. I know that I I, I don't want to say dumb it down, but I know that when I'm around people that like aren't 
listening to that stuff all day i'll just use names like mary oscar nancy you know oh. but there are times where I get, I get stuck and i'm just like uh, t as in timothy <laughs> Tim oh. Tim <laughs> and they're just like present <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> That's, we we, we, we would do that at AT and T as well when we ever whenever we called into customer service. <laughs> yes, yes. For Amazon, mummy, you're going to have a forty dollar upgrade fee. <laughs> yes. uh, Screaming the terms and conditions. So how exactly. was it working with you guys when you guys were working at AT and T? Man, unfortunately, I never worked at most store, but uh, Ugo worked at most store. That's how him and Mo became buddies. And then I just always heard uh, Ugo was always talking about a Mo, Mo, and that was like his work pal. And then, like when Mo was new, fucking jealous. He shadowed, <laughs> he shadowed, <laughs> really he, jealous, he shadowed Ugo. And like I just remember Ugo always just being like, "Yeah, me and Mo." And then Mo, and then like how Mo would like, "What the hell is this Mo?" Oh, Mo, Mo, <laughs> dude, dude, Mo came he's from just, your he's just like he, he's just like what is it called? He's just laying in bed on his belly and his fucking feet are just kicking like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, like me and Mo. You know, like, <laughs> we, we had to deal with this crazy ass customer, dude. It was fucking <laughs> wild, Mo. dude. He did such yeah. a good job. No, but I, he just I, this guy would always stick out, so I was always in, intrigued to meet Mo because. This guy when work came from a uh, US Sailor when they shut down and then he started at AT&T and then like you know when someone shadows you you're just like you shut the fuck up and listen to what i say <laughs> he and told then, me all the ethical ways to sell stuff and then mo <laughs> just comes in be like hey me and my partner we got a great deal here for you <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and sell you a dream and then ugo's just like bro we don't sell any of that shit <laughs> you gotta stop talking we don't sell no dreams <laughs> we don't sell we sell cell we phones sell <laughs> we have them but we don't sell them dude yeah you know what i'm saying that's uh, very pricey um but yeah, man, that was that was just how it came about. And then obviously I met him in person and it didn't stick because I had to reintroduce <laughs> myself. But uh it all worked out. Yep. So yeah. so who do you who do you fly for? Uh my company that I fly for is called Atlas Air. Atlas Air. Yeah. And are are they just hired out by other companies or, or are they just like so, cargo? Yeah, so they contract with other companies. Um they are after UPS and FedEx are the third biggest cargo, but they also do um they also do a lot of passenger flying. They do some sports teams. They do okay. a lot of military flying. Have you ever done a no. – so have you have you done passengers? Have, with, have you At, pass with, with Atlas, no. At my previous airline, I did fly passengers. How many – what was the what was the most amount of pa passengers? Uh, we heard? flew regional jets. The max seats were 76 seats. 76 yeah. seats. Mm. Damn. The 767 on the passenger configuration holds, uh, I want to say, around like 220 seats, something have, like that. Have you ever flown anyone famous yet? No. Um, Us. <laughs> <laughs> outside of andre uh, um i don't know i think there was like some like son of a singer in my plane once son of a gun uh, yeah, <laughs> he's a son uh, of a i flew guy. at my previous previous job i flew jim gaffigan the comedian Whoa. 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 he was kind of did annoying he, to be on did he talk like this mr pilot kind of yeah he got, he got in the plane and he's like when are we gonna get there <laughs> get there <laughs> He's great. Why are we so I had to go this? tell him how the seatbelt works and all that. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking cool. I'm really nervous. Have you ever? Uh, <laughs> have, you again. have you ever been forced to land a plane because of a because of a of a of a passenger like no. Denzel style? <laughs> yeah, sorry. no, I've never had anything. Like <laughs> what, that. what do you want? Knock what do you wood. want your friend to go through? What Denzel went through that <laughs> movie? I don't know, bro. It was just like it, it, seemed, it seemed like something good to put on the resume. You know what I'm so <laughs> it would, I was able to. So whenever flip a plane, so <laughs> save some people, and like, I was and I was drunk the whole time. <laughs> the only reason I ask is because they do this in in, in in industry and retail fucking jobs is they. They essentially not so much like a they give you some form of training just to like how to deal with like disgruntled guests mm -hmm. and like be, like do they give you training on how to deal with disgruntled like passengers or do you are or, or, or do they give you like you you call the audible like hey you need to shut the fuck yeah. up or i'm gonna land this plane um you always have your discretion that you can use uh -huh. to to make that call um there is guidance Mostly, it's the flight attendants that have to deal with that shit. God bless them. <laughs> oh. God bless them for a talk. You know, no, I mean for real. If it, you know, the the best flight attendants I had at my previous job because I haven't worked with any on at the new job yet since I haven't flown passengers. But mm -hmm. the best flight attendants I had, we got to the last day of the trip, and I hear them just complain about every weird passenger they had and everyone who didn't want to wear a mask and everyone who was being a dick. And dex. I was like, I didn't hear any of this the entire trip. Like yeah. you guys. Are rock stars. Yeah, because they well, were, yeah, that, well, that, none you, of this you, reached well, us. Well, could you imagine if it did, dude? You'd have to fucking fly this fucking this hunk of steel that's in the air. And you're like, I oh, dude, I could just, <laughs> I could just fucking oh, yeah? end it right now. You don't want to put your mask on? <laughs> <laughs> right? How about now? I don't think I'd do that. Um, 
But yeah, those are the best flight attendants I had when I was just like, man, I didn't hear any of this. Dude, I didn't they, hear a single complaint they, they in all four days. Of, they go through a lot of shit with yeah. people. People what, are just fucking... So... When did you see the motherfucking road tree? So, I fucking hate that guy. So when you were with passengers, did you guys ever have like kids people. knocking on the fucking cabin door? Nah. Trying to be like, hey, can we get some pilot? <laughs> can before, I get some wings? Before the flight, a lot can of the time, we take wings? pictures of kids. Okay. Yeah, right, which right. was really fun. Oh, that's cute. That's cool. Yeah. And cool. what is your number one pet peeve of one, uh, of uh, of flying passengers? No, um, no deodorant. <laughs> no deodorant. Yeah. Honestly, like... <laughs> cleanliness? Is it, is, I, I, it, I, is it, it like, hold on i'm gonna take a wild guess when do you hate the most when they land the plane and then they start fucking clapping <laughs> <laughs> well, thank fucking god for this no, guy yeah, no, I, I, I love that it's great for my ego uh, say, uh, say, <laughs> thank you god uh, bitch, I was say, you know, i'd say that i'd say the thing that you would annoy me home. would be probably if a passenger just sticks their head in the door while we're like still like boarding without no. asking a flight attendant first and then just making rude comments. I've had someone do that. I was like, I was, I picked up overtime to get a flight that was delayed by like 12 hours. Oh, shit. And it, I wasn't involved with it being delayed. Ooh. <laughs> and no, go, 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 go hold your story. I got, I got another question for you before, I, I before just, we end this. I was just going to say, I wasn't involved with it being delayed. And I walked in with a coffee. Um, and then this passenger sticks his head and he's like, I'm glad you had time to get your coffee when we were delayed for 12 hours. And I was like, bro, I wasn't even fucking here <laughs> when you got delayed. Like, Damn, it was fucking... overtime for me. Uh, here we go. Uh, That's why I hate people. I just finished right. my eight hour shift. I hate that people think so, that their life is more important. Have you people. ever been forced to not land yet? And if so, how long did you need to stay in the air past your like landing time we got I a actually, Karen at the boarding gate um, please don't come in <laughs> don't come in I actually um, had to divert just a couple days ago um, to a different airport um, captain and I were flying into Rockford and the winds were just super crazy mm -hmm. so we tried to land and the, our airspeed was just going all over the place and it led to an unstable approach so we okay. did what's called a go around where you just you know, add power. You climb up, and you get away from the you get away from the ground essentially. And we made the decision to divert to O'Hare because everyone was getting in at O'Hare. So we went okay. from Rockford to O'Hare. Um, yeah, okay. ideally, you never land the plane if it's gonna, you know, put yourself in a potentially unsafe situation. Okay. So um, let's say, let's say you don't have another airport to go to. At that point, do you just go around in a circle? And try it again. Yeah, so you could, you could. I mean, depending on fuel, you uh -huh. could hold. You cruise the block. Um, you, <laughs> ideally, remember that they're parking. <laughs> <laughs> you could exactly. You could just cruise the block. For somebody to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, were you trying to park in Berwyn, bro? <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately, running out of fuel in a plane is way different than running out of fuel in a car, because which has happened to me at least twice that I can think of. Your car just comes to a nice gentle stop yeah. when you run out of fuel in the car. Um, so I, I ideally to don't want to come close to, you know. To that happen. Right, okay. exactly. Oh and so true. how many, how, uh, so when they fill up the tank, uh, uh, like like on a plane, do you guys carry reserves with you yeah. in the, uh, like in the plane itself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the, the rules get more strict the further on you go. Like for these planes, all you need is an extra 30 minutes of fuel during the daytime is, is all the, is the requirement. Mm -hmm. um, for airliners, you need enough to get to a second airport um, plus 45 minutes. And that's just for Holy domestic. Crap. There's additional oh, okay. there's additional rules um, for international. Mm -hmm. but um, And then there's additional rules on top of that if the weather is bad at your alternate airport. Mm -hmm. So you can have up to two alternate airports. You need enough fuel to get to both of them plus an additional 45 minutes. So they don't really fuck around with fuel. So here's my question. Are planes gas guzzlers? <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. I'm pretty sure uh, they so are. So, so my like my, my so carbon you get, footprint is huge. So, so you don't get like 35 gallons, uh, uh, thir 35 miles per the gallon <laughs> you on the highway? Way. You don't get like uh, a diesel like, car? We're like half a we gallon burn, for Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> we burn probably a thousand pounds of fuel just to get to the run, just to taxi. Pounds. Dude, they, they don't measure, they don't, what? they don't measure gallons, they measure pounds. Oh, that's enough for a household with the gas for so each six each months. gallon weighs about um, six point six pounds. Each God each, damn, uh, dude. each gallon of fuel. You're just like I need I need this fucking much, dude, just to get the fuck off yeah. the just to get just off. Just and that's a short taxi. I've burned way more for long taxis. God that's just damn, a short dude. taxi. 
So, um, does anybody have any? I guess keep on flying. Fuck the environment. Yeah, right. dude. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> does anybody hey, have hey, any? Hey, I'm getting an electric <laughs> car next. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you gonna get awesome. an electric plane while you're at it, dude? Yeah, right. Maybe. It's, man, uh, Mr. Well, I mean, as far as I know, the Earth is fucking taking care of itself, dude. It's humans we have to take care of. Uh, <laughs> Word. It's it's true, speak dude. the truth. Okay, preach, brother. But anyways, brother Darren, this has been a go. great. This has been a. I fucking brother dude. Darren. I love this goddamn beer, dude. It was good. It was a good fucking beer. Uh, thank you so much for being Appreciate on the you guys having me. Coming, Mo. Appreciate you guys with my flex- flexibility wise on on, <laughs> oh, uh, on my, on my oh, schedule fuck, dude, as well. If you ever, ever want to be back on the podcast, dude, we have a fourth mic, dude. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Glad to bring you back back, back, to. back to the beautiful studio that we got here over there. Hey, 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 Kevin. Wait, hold on. We're almost done here. Uh, I need anyway, you to shit. Kevin, <laughs> your shit. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys uh, next what? week. We have been. Oh wait, wait, wait. we gotta wait, wait, wait. We gotta get. We're his giving. Pen. We're oh giving yeah, Mo yeah. We gotta give him his pen. Complimentary. La pura neta pen. We need you to put it right next to the uh, airline uh, this wings. Is, yeah, this, wings? Is, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is going on my lanyard. Amen. All right, definitely. Anyways, guys, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. We have been La pura neta. See you next week. Peace.